Podívám. Um, I've heard something and I wanted to tell you. Oh, I don't even know why I'm here. You probably don't want to know. Get on with it. Um, Kyle's parents have died. That's a shame. Right, well, I thought you should know. OK. Is that it? Look, what are you after, Amy? You lost a baby with Myra, didn't you? Look, this has got nothing to do with Myra. No, I know, but I just thought that you might... feel something for Kyle. Yeah, well, you thought wrong, so... Why don't you just go? What's up? Our son might not have anyone to look after him. I get that, but what do you expect me to do about it? Are you really not bothered at all? I've got nothing to do with that kid, and neither of you. You got rid of him for a reason. Yes, because he deserved parents who care for him, and now they're dead. Don't make this our problem. So must be worried sick. Yeah, well, you heard me. I told it wasn't her problem. Ken, she will have thought about that boy every single day since she gave him away. And now, well, I can't imagine what she must be going through now. Yeah, well, she's got good people looking after her. Oh, well, I hope they're doing a good job. Remember how you felt after the miscarriage? <sighs> right, not you and all. Well, try multiplying that by about 50 to get how Amy feels about Kyle. It's fine. I got the message. I hope you've not been having a go at her. What do you want? Can you call off your bodyguards? It's all right. Well, we're just over there if you need us. Look, <clears throat> I'm sorry this has happened. But there's nothing either of us can do about this. You'll be fine. You don't know that. He could end up in care. Yeah, or, or, or he could run under a bus, or, or his auntie could win the lottery. It's his life. It's nothing to do with us. Look, I've been OK since I gave him away because I knew someone was looking after him. But ever since Val told us... Just leave it. I can't. Things have changed, Kane. Right, well, not for me.